thank you for joining me for another video on my channel. Today I have for you some Farmhouse Fresh products that was sent to me in a sampler kit. Let's start with this pack which seems to be all face masks. Alright, so let's go ahead and start off with Guacstar. Guacstar is recommended for skin types that are dry, dehydrated, sunburned, or sensitive skin. And you can apply this chilt. So you can keep this in your fridge and put it on cool. I know here in Arizona in the summer, regardless of your skin type, this would feel great put on cooled. And this consists of avocado butter extract and oil, green tea, pomegranate, goji fruit, and coffee seed extracts. So up next we have Mighty Tidy, which is their turmeric and banana mask. And this one is recommended for dull aging and uneven skin. It tingles and flushes the skin and is not recommended for sensitive skin. Now this one tightens, firms, and brightens. The next one I have for you here is One Fine Day. The main ingredients in this is the shea butter, sugar, and vitamin E. And this one is for, um, it softens and soothes dry, chapped skin, calming irritations and reducing redness for people with sensitive skin. The next one I have for you is Splendid Dirt. Now this one has a bunch of different clay, yogurt, and organic pumpkin puree in it, and it smells like pumpkin. It is amazing. And this one here, has the clays that pull out impurities in the skin and then the pumpkin which as you know is such a great antioxidant. The Peat Perfection Mask is not my favorite smelling of all of these masks. However, this one also has clays in it, organic cucumber extract, uh, calming and reducing itching and irritation. So Sunday Best is a chocolate mask. Yes, you heard that right, chocolate mask and it looks like chocolate pudding and it smells like chocolate. It is amazing. Pudding Appeal is a tapioca mask. Mm-hmm, tapioca. Yeah, so the tapioca provides a silky fill to the skin and it also has glycolic and fruit extract AHAs in it, which as you know, gently stimulates um, cell renewal and sloughs away that dead skin. Pajama paste is a yogurt mask. Don't these masks all just sound so delicious to just eat them up? So this one has uh, clay, yogurt, raw honey, and oatmeal in it. The last mask that I have to share with you is called Will Do, and this is part of the Farmhouse Fresh Organics collection. This one here, is a probiotic milk mask and it has probiotics, uh, organic aloe vera leaf juice, rice extract, sweet almond oil, and coconut oil. Next let's open up the pack that has the buddy milk, the butters, and I believe there is a couple of scrubs in there as well. So let's take a look at sweet cream body milk. So the main ingredients of this body milk is a proprietary blend of six natural oils that include soybean, rice bran, sweet almond, jojoba, avocado, and sesame seed. The, the uh, milk oil soothes and vitalizes the skin, stimulates cellular growth, by increasing elastin bonds and collagen production, moisturizes and enriches the skin. And this one here is super nice and creamy. It is super sweet smelling to me though. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to wear this one. I'm gonna have to give it a try and see what happens. Citrine Beach is another body milk, so it's going to have those same uh, ingredients and the um, benefits just with a different, uh, different ingredients for the scent. And this one here, Citrine Beach, is um, a little more citrusy and light, and I think this one will do a lot better for me. 
Here we have a couple of the Shea Butter Creams in Fluffy Bunny and Whoopie Pie. These both have a little bit sweeter smell to them, but it is a lot uh, lighter of a sweet smell. I should be able to handle these, and I think out of the two, Fluffy Bunny is probably my favorite. But as you can see, they're a little bit thicker cream because they are that Shea Butter Cream, but they are so luxurious. Maypop is a gourmet steeped milk lotion. Now the main ingredients on these ones are gonna be sunflower, safflower, and coconut oil, and mushroom extract and pentanol. And this one here is steeped with passion fruit and it smells amazing. This one seems like it might be a little bit thicker of a cream than the Shea Butters, but it soaks in really nicely. Next up, we'll go ahead and talk about the different scrubs that Farmhouse Fresh has to offer. The Honey Lavender Scrub is one of their sea salt scrubs. The main ingredients in their sea salt scrubs is rice, bran oil, and natural sea salt, of course. And these ones here are sealed, so I can't really give you a description of the smell or texture quite yet because I'm not ready to open these. I will um, get back to you when I do get these open though and let you know what I think. So the Muscadine Moonshine and the Watermelon Basil Vodka Scrubs are liquor infused scrubs and their main ingredients are sugar, except for, as you can see, this one right here is a sea salt scrub. Actually, sorry, this one's gonna be the sugar with organic vodka and rice bran oil, and then they do have a whole collection of the liquor-infused scrubs that are sea salt, and this one is moonshine, muscadine, grapes, sea salt, sugar, and rice bran oil oil and I have tried the watermelon basil vodka scrub when I have been at farmhouse fresh events and it smells amazing and last but not least they have shea butter scrubs now the main ingredients in these scrubs is going to be shea butter sugar vitamin E and coconut water so this one here, I feel like I've tried before, but I could be mistaking, but I feel like these ones are a little bit more creamier, which would make sense because they have the shea butter in them. So I feel like these are creamier than the other scrubs, which tend to be, I don't want to say watery, but you know what I mean? They don't have that creaminess to them. All right, now let's take a look at this little variety pack that came with um, their new lip polish, their body oil, and some facial buffing masks and see what all's in here. Next we have one of their newer products, which is their lip polish, and this one is blackberry wine. Now the main ingredients in this is cane sugar, uh, sunflower seed oil, shea butter, organic blackberries, honey, dates, and wine. And this blackberry wine was actually my favorite one. So this is the one that I had actually purchased at the trade show, and that's what they look like, and they are just amazing. I tried it there too. I had it all over my face, but I was like, this is going on my lips. I need to know what it feels like. So they had sent over two of their body oils. One is agave nectar, and one is clementine. And let me tell you, the main ingredients in these are grape seed, uh, olive fruit, orange peel, apricot kernel, sunflower, and jojoba seed oils, along with shea butter, cocoa seed butter, and vitamin E. I love their body oils. I have a couple of these that I had purchased full-size bottles of because I did love them so much. Now, I was thinking that this was like strictly body oil, keep it off your face kind of thing, and I was incorrect with that. When I was in uh, Vegas at the Farmhouse Fresh um, presentation, they had said that these are perfectly fine to use on the face, for your cuticles, for your hair, like they said, use them like everywhere you would use an oil. And I am super excited to actually try oil blading with these and see how that works out because I was looking for a new oil to do my oil blading with. 
facial buffing masks. Now I was pretty excited when I seen these in the kit because I'm not familiar with these. This was new information to me that they even had such a thing. So let's take a look at them. Okay, so here's what they all look like. And this one is my favorite smelling one, which is the tea cucumber. And these you just add water and mix and apply and they can be used as an exfoliator or as a mask. Last but not least is this little facial kit that they sent. Isn't it cute? I'm so excited. I'm going to be taking this on my upcoming cruise and trying out all of these products. So I can definitely give you a better idea of what I think of them right when I get back. The Green Tea Milk Wash is the pH balanced creamy cleanser that they recommend for the daily cleanser and it gently removes makeup, dirt, and even mascara and sunscreen because we all know sometimes those are kind of stubborn to get off. Now the main ingredients in this is coconut milk, green tea extract. This is one of my favorite products and it was one of the main things that I made sure that I picked up when I was in Vegas. So this is their vitamin berry tonic and it is an alcohol free pore refining facial toner. So its main ingredients are rose water, uh, berry extract, sodium hyaluronate, but this vitamin berry tonic is super refreshing. You can definitely keep it in the fridge and spray it on your face to cool yourself down on a hot summer day or I like to keep it in my purse and just spritz throughout the day for a little refresher. The 3 Milk Ageless Moisturizer is a peptide-based, shine-free, daily deep wrinkle reducing moisturizer. The main ingredients in this is advanced firming peptides, coconut milk, milk thistle, and milk veg. Now, this one here is an intensely hydrating daily moisturizer and I cannot wait to try it. It has a very, very light scent and it's a very clean scent. So it'll be exciting to give this a try. This next one is the Three Milk Ageless Night Cream. Now this one is a peptide based with timer released retinol. That is super important because you want that retinol to keep releasing over time so that you get the maximum benefit from it. So the main ingredients in this one is retinol, advanced firming peptides, coconut milk, milk thistle, and milk fetched. Wind Down is an overnight antioxidant recovery serum that plumps, hydrates, reduces the look of dark circles and is recommended for all skin types. Spotted Leaving is a vitamin enhanced illuminating serum that illuminates and targets sunspots and is recommended for sun damaged, dull, and uneven skin types. Crowcatcher is eye transforming serum that reduces the look of fine lines and crow's feet. It's recommended for all skin types and some of the main ingredients of this one is seaweed extract, biopeptide, algae extracts. That's a quick overlook of everything that Farmhouse Fresh has sent me to sample. If you are currently using these products or if there's anything you would like to try, please comment below and let me know. For more information on these products individually, please visit farmhousefreshgoods.com.